Hey YouTube, it's Michael. It's my girlfriend Taylor on the left right there. It's me on the right. And she's always cold. So today we're going to talk about how we fix that. And also, we're going to go over her jacket collection because it's pretty good. So, without further ado, I would like to formally welcome you to the Iron Snail. Okay. Starting now. Today is a very important day because you will be meeting Taylor, which is always a good thing, but in order for us to meet her, I have to go get a COVID test. So I'm gonna go do that right now. I will be right back. Also, new jacket. And everything about it, it's incredible. Okay, anyways, COVID test. Hello, I'm Other Michael. I'm gonna be your secondary guide to this vlog. I'm obsessed with jackets. I don't know if you've noticed, but 25 of my 25 videos have probably mentioned jackets or been about jackets. I really like them. And Taylor is always cold. So that's why this is a good combination. Okay, I got the COVID test. I don't have COVID. Things are good. I also, I really wanted to get this shot, but <laughs> I'm wasting time because I'm double parked. So I'm gonna go get my stuff and go see Taylor. Quick rundown of Taylor. I just actually did this part of the video, but I kept the lens cap on the entire time. So this is me laughing, thinking I just told a funny joke. <laughs> Taylor and I have been dating for almost three years. She lives in New York from Massachusetts. That's where I met her She moved to New York, but now she's currently spending some time in Massachusetts, which I couldn't be More delighted by that fact because I love Massachusetts her and I were just talking about that like how incredible Massachusetts what is was this isn't a hate video on Massachusetts so pretty and historic and it's got a good education system and great hospitals one day we were driving and we were talking about Massachusetts healthcare very sexy things we were passing Mass General which is a really famous hospital in Massachusetts and we were like wow it's just so cool to live so close to all these great hospitals and all these great schools especially Mass General like one of the most esteemed hospitals people come from all over the world to go to Mass General and as we were driving by we were looking up at the big glowing sign and the M of Mass General went out so it said General the person in charge of that sign is probably only in charge of making sure that M doesn't go out and it did I'll be honest the first take I did of this way better <laughs> It was it's too dark in here. I couldn't see the lens cap. I was thinking oh the lens looks pretty weird Anyways, what oh, yeah, Taylor, um, she's the pretty one in the relationship I take the role of other I will be playing the role of tree other than that She is the loveliest person I've ever met in my life So now we're gonna go see her and also there's this dog that she babysits every once in a while named Baxter and he's gonna be there. Anyway, time to go home. Also, last time I was in Taylor's town, we got in a car accident. Hey, quick pit stop. If you really like this video, you should give it a like, and you should also comment and subscribe. And if you really want to, you can follow me on Instagram. This is my at, and don't even try to look at Taylor's at, because she does. she's private. She doesn't want any more followers. She's happy with what she has. She's very grateful. I have to shower. So while I shower, here's a tour of every single plant in Taylor's house. You think that's a lot of plants? That was only half the plants. Okay, so first jacket is this Levi's 1980s Type 3 Sherpa line denim jacket. I told you I like the 80s and the 90s jackets better because the Sherpa lining is way, way thicker than modern lining. But I always wore this jacket around. She always complimented it. Actually, I wasn't dating Taylor yet or really talking to her at all. And she walked by me on campus and she had an actual trench coat on that was super pretty, like wool and everything like that. And as she walked by, I said, wow, that girl has a really cool coat on. 
I should compliment her, but I didn't. I let her walk by, and I knew her too. Anyway, so when we actually did meet each other, I wore the jacket a lot, she always complimented it. We'd go for walks at night all the time. She was always cold. So like a week into us talking, I gave her the jacket with a little note in it. That was just like, I'm so glad I met you, you know, whatever. We were graduating, everything was super poetic. I gave her that jacket, and now she still has it, and she still has the note, I think. I haven't seen her in a while. She claims that she still has it. In terms of warmth, the jacket's not a winter jacket really at all. It's a fall jacket. But what I said in the note was basically that the 1980s cut was big enough. I'm just realizing how much this probably seemed like a romantic gesture. And then she opened the letter and I was like, this is a 1980s Levi's Type 3 Sherpa. I like the Sherpa because it's thicker. But yeah, so she'll wear it as a winter jacket sometimes just because it has a ton of room. So she'll put on, we'll get into it in a second, but she'll layer under it basically until it's warm enough and it's a good outer shell. Do the honors. <laughs> you, um, what is that show? Oh, no. Booba? No. Oh, uh, no, the what? Booba? What the, what the f is a booba? Booba. Ah, no, I'm thinking of the, the like, the, the Twinkie, Dipsy, La La. Twinkie, Twinkie. Oh. <laughs> you know? Teletubbies. Teletubbies! You look like a Teletubby. <laughs> 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 you look like Pippa. Can I put my shoes on? <laughs> you look like, like I can't bend. Oh, this jacket's awesome. Taylor's getting a COVID test now. It's something that we do more as like a hobby. It's very fun. I love it. The first time I got a COVID test, I didn't know how far they shoved that Q-tip into your nose. There's like a few in front of me, so I'm just gonna pull my car up this part of this spot. Next to the lady that was yelling. So the lady who is like, go to hell, is a good person. She's a good person. Yeah, but apparently the like nurse said that that lady was like abusing her staff and was being like horrible. Really? And she came over to check her in and all of a sudden I hear her yelling at her saying, we're not helping you, you better leave or we're calling the police. I looked at her and I said, I went like this, and she rolled down her window, she goes, shut the F up. I said, wait a minute, don't you say that to me. <laughs> it's also starting to get covered in my forehead grease. What? The mat, when I put my head well, down. You're through. supposed to like clean off your mat. Oh. I like any kind of core. Do you like happy baby? I do. So then, Taylor was still cold, which is not a surprise because this jacket that you're seeing right here, she usually breaks out when the temperature dips below 60. This is an L.L. Bean Baxter State Parka, which is L.L. Bean's warmest parka. This is, I think, from the 80s or the 90s, but it's insanely thick. When I first got the jacket, my friend Danny and I went outside when it was three degrees, and I was like, put this jacket on, and he just stood there and laughed because he was so warm. I, the reason I got her that jacket, I was gonna get her a down jacket anyways, and her grandfather came over one day wearing that jacket, and she always said it's her favorite jacket, whatever, it's so big, it's so funny, it's like the Michelin Man, and he's so warm all the time. So, I just kept looking online for like a few weeks until I found it, and I bought it for her, and then, I got her the hood too, separately. It's not the actual correct hood, but it is a really warm down insulated hood with faux fur around it. I got that on eBay and I don't know how, but I messaged the lady and I was like, please, 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 I'll buy this right now, I'll buy this right now, you know, whatever. And she called my house, which was weird. I don't know how she got the number, but she, I don't live there anymore. And my parents got a call from some woman that was like, hey Michael, this is, you know, Sydney, uh, just calling about the eBay listing. No idea how she got that. <sighs> so far, so good. So far, no so good. No major fights? No. None. Um, other than that, we're both feeling warm, which is good. Mm, mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. is 40 degrees, so it's not really cold at all. I'm freezing. Yeah, Taylor has on three layers? Under Armour, shirt, sweater, giant Massive jacket. jacket. And also, she's rocking, you'll probably notice in the video, these leg warmers, these, I've been told, which I'll let you kind of t talk about the history. These are my mother's. Yep. Possibly the 80s, possibly the 90s these originated. I'm way cooler than this, but this is necessary. I, it's not to say that we're above leg warmers. No, no, of course if you, not. If it's something that you just wear, it's not a big deal. No. But we're above, yeah. Blasto butter's insane. I 
got Taylor this Japanese five-year journal from Hobonachi with this natural vegetable tanned outside cover and it's so cool it's gonna get so dark and nice I have to go shower because there's a very very special guest coming within the next 25 minutes Oh yeah. so tensions are high people are excited he probably smells horrible Hands. Of course. I am, in fact, allergic to dogs. You can find me on the west side. West side. Oh. I mean. Wow. Oh, oh my I didn't see that one. That was like a full pop. Oh. Does it hurt your hand? Oh my god. <gasps> oh, nice. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, where Let's are they popping? Eat it. Where are they popping? Eat I can't see it. it. What does it taste like? Mm. Not buttery. It tastes like fire. So, next up, I just bought this jacket. This is a Woolrich Down Arctic Grade Parka without the hood. Although I really wish I did get the version with the hood. It was just like 20 bucks more, but either way, this is not Taylor's jacket, although I usually give her every single jacket that I have eventually if she likes it. So technically it is mine, but I told Taylor she can have it if she wants it. But Woolrich Down Parka, this is basically just like the L.O. Bean Baxter State Parka, basically same thickness. The baffles aren't as defined, but super cool. It's Monday, 7 a.m. 16 degrees outside, so I had to come out and test out this jacket. I think it's doing pretty well. Other than that, it's a work day, so I have to do some editing for Theo and Harris. We have to go to Philadelphia on Thursday. Uh, just drinking coffee. It's really nice to go outside in the morning and, you know, just become one with nature, so. I lied, there's no coffee in this, it's water. I'm a paid actor. So basically, long story short, this still wasn't working. Taylor would wear the Baxter State down parka with the hood, zipped all the way up, and still be cold. So, and she would say to me, you know, this jacket isn't that warm. And I was just like, uh, okay. The only other thing I could think of is the Canada Goose down Arctic parka that's like seven pounds of down, $2,000. It's a beast of a jacket, literally made for Arctic explorers who, when they're in the Arctic, unzip the jacket because it's too warm. That's the only thing I could think of. And then basically, while driving with her one day, we realized we were going about this all wrong. We were trying to come up with the ultimate jacket that will keep her warm, but in actuality, the whole foundation was messed up because she wasn't layering, you see, and that is when absolutely everything changed. I forget when it was, but basically one day I was like, do you have an Under Armour like tight nylon, or I forget what they are, like spandex basically, one of these things. And she was like, yeah, why? So the big part there is we're trapping the heat as early as possible many different times, which is also great because if you're doing anything strenuous, you can take off the jacket and still have layers underneath to kind of find the middle ground. That was the key to everything. So what Taylor will do now, including leg warmers and the pink neck gaiter, is leggings, maybe jeans over the leggings, an Under Armour upper body like legging, I guess, you know, like the tight material, a sweater, and then basically all of her jackets work. The Levi's jacket works, the down jackets work great, obviously, and then she's warm. When it comes to her hands, what she will do is a thin wool glove followed by a thicker kind of hand knit style mitten. And then on her head, she'll do usually a Carhartt and a hood if needed. These are the muffins that Cassidy made. This is my second one and they're great, but I'm sure it's gonna give me digestive problems because I think I can't eat gluten. I was talking to Taylor's roommate one day who can't eat gluten and I was like, oh yeah, I can't eat gluten. If I eat Tostitos, I get a really bad stomach ache. And she was like, there's no gluten in Tostitos. And I was like, but maybe my batch had some gluten in it. I don't know, either way, they're very good, there's apple in them. Thanks, Cassidy. <laughs> Baxter! Hi, Cassidy. Good morning. I had two of your muffins. Her current favorite jacket, by the way, is this one. Let it be known that I have hat hair. Yeah. 
I'm not proud of it. Which she got at a thrift store, I believe, and it's cool. I think, I don't really know a ton of information about this jacket. It looks like a Korean company. The jacket was made in Korea. The outside is lambskin. It's a little worn. The black is turning into that green color that black dyed leather gets sometimes. So we're probably gonna re-dye it. And then on the inside is a removable shearling inner vest, which is really cool. She says it's super warm. So that's what she's rocking now. I think I said this before. Taylor is the most productive person I've ever met in my entire life. Case in point being, she wakes up and immediately makes her bed perfectly with the extra pillow, folds the comforter, has this great color scheme going on. The comforter is down here to the exact line. I can fit just one finger under here and that's how it is on purpose. I'm editing a short film for Jack Udro, a really cool watch brand actually, probably my favorite watch brand if I'm being honest. I would love to get this watch, and I stopped on this part of the video, just to show you, look at this, right around here. It's gonna be blurry because it's a draft, but look. To the far east, Louis the Sixth. Did you see that? That's incredible. A boy is riding a moth. This is just a wristwatch. I've worn it, it's not that big. And the wheel spins and the wings flap. Whoa. Big green for midday walk with Baxter. Baxter is over there, as Taylor says, he is wearing black. And Taylor's rocking big red, looking good. I think it's orange. What? 